How can we ensure that life still carries on through this crisis? How can we stay together while remaining apart from Patrick? Well, it's a challenge, isn't it? Everyone's experience of life has been dramatically overhauled like that, and no one's had time to get themselves prepared. So the main problem I think people are coming up against is the fact they don't know when this is going to end. And unfortunately, that's not going to change. We do not have an end date to this. Perfect example of this. If I told you I was going to punch you in the leg at some point over the next 24 hours, there's a lot of anxiety in that. Whereas if I just punch you in the leg right now, you know that it's over and done with. We are currently about to be punched in the leg at some point over the next 24 hours. That 24 hours might stretch out to be months. And my advice to people, the best way that they can continue moving forward and having some semblance of normality is to do precisely that. Get up at the same time as you usually would. Get dressed for work, even if you're working from home. Try and have some exercise. Try and speak to friends and family as much as you can. FaceTime, uh, Zoom, Skype, whatever it might be. I got a friend, David, that writes for The Sun, and he had a virtual stag do last night. So he was supposed to be in Istanbul, and he couldn't make it. So him and his friends had a 20-person Zoom chat, and they had a virtual stag do last night. Like, I mean, it's a tragedy that this is happening, but what a way to come up with a novel solution to a problem that you never thought you were going to have to face. So yeah, continue to speak to your friends and family, stable sleep and wake cycle, eat well, don't drink too much at home, uh, dress yourself for work, continue to exercise. There's no problems with fresh air, although even that, the um, Snowdonia, I've seen queues outside of Snowdonia. So social isolation now in nature is actually forcing people to be together. I think the final thing that you can do is not take things that you read on the internet too seriously. If it's come from a legitimate news source, then fantastic. But if it's just someone, someone's next door neighbor sharing a rumor that they once heard, I mean, what happened to the lockdown? I thought we were all going into militarized lockdown on Friday and that never came about. Opinion 